Hey, Paul Ingram with Collie Center. Today, I'm out hiking in this beautiful canyon here. I'll put some shots of it at the end of this video. That way you can check it out. I wanna share with you a little bit of empty hands. And this is a short form, a very short form that covers the parry techniques of Filipino martial arts, of Kali. There's only six movements, so it's very easy. Just follow along and I know you can get it down probably by the end of this video. All right, just take a neutral stance for now. You can do this form from a fighting stance from either lead, but for simplicity, just start off with a nice neutral kind of position. So in Kali, we have basically three parries and this form covers all three, but works both sides. So it's a total of six movements. If you've done some of the double stick Sinawali drills, it literally follows those exact same movements. So if you've done that work, then this is gonna be extra easy for you. So from here, we're gonna start with the right hand. I'm gonna tap my shoulder. It's gonna come across my face and tap my shoulder. That's parry number one. My left hand comes underneath and then it comes across. That's parry number two. And then my right hand comes in and parry number three. It comes into the center. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with my left side. I'm gonna start with my left hand. I'm gonna parry across my face and tap the shoulder, come up and around with my right hand for parry number two. And then my left hand comes in to parry number three and that stops right in the center. That's kind of more of a jamming type of uh, technique there. So again, that's all six techniques, really three techniques. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Or right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand, right hand, left hand. Okay? And we can just kind of keep this going and just flow it out. And you'll see the Sinawali patterns in the hand movements here exactly the same as the double sticks. I'm gonna turn, show you from another angle here. Right hand, parry across number one, left hand, parry number two, and right hand, parry number three. Left hand comes across, parry number one, right hand, parry number two, left hand, parry number three. So the important part of tapping the shoulder here on the number ones is that we're learning that the parries stay within this box, okay, within this kind of square box right here. And we don't wanna overextend a parry. So it doesn't go past the shoulder. It doesn't mean that we're gonna necessarily parry and tap our shoulder in, you know, in real application, but we, we're training to make sure our hand does not go past the shoulder. But that's why parry number one for the form goes here. So one, two, and you see how my right hand, or my left hand in this case, parry number two, my hand does not go past my shoulder. So I'm not doing this, okay? It's right there. And then that third parry is gonna go right into the center. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And just start this nice and slow and gradually pick up your speed. Then from there, you can experiment starting with some different leads. Parry one, parry two, parry three right there. And this will lead into a lot of our empty hand entry work and into a lot of the um, you know, close quarter empty hand techniques of locks and holds and chokes and takedowns, striking, all that stuff that these basic movements are going to lead us into eventually down the line. So have fun with this kind of little mini short form that's going through the basic parry and hand movements for Filipino martial arts on our empty hands. Start nice and slow with it, be explorative with it, be creative with it, and again, just have fun. All right, let's go and close out this video with a few images of where I'm hiking. It's just super, super awesome place. Hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to Kali Center if you're new to the channel, and I'll catch you back here next time.